Hey world changers, thanks so much for stopping by my page and welcome back. It's Kat Wilson here with Kat Surrender to Love Inspiration. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Touch that notification bell whenever a video is uploaded, you will be notified. I am here, we are here to encourage one another to uplift, to cultivate wisdom, to cultivate, look, whatever it is that we have to help us to go toward our betterment, toward our good, to add into increasing to our better wellness of mind our state of being and our souls that's what we're here to do i thank you so much for stopping by my page again share 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 comment like my page love my page i want to hear from you i want to get some interaction going thank you so much for watching my last video we were discussing and talking about mindfulness being aware of self and things that we can do to help de-stress to help take our minds off maybe whatever is going on in our current world situation and in our personal lives not that they don't exist and not that they aren't important but just to de-stress to to find some time to settle down within ourselves find a peace of mind so we can think right come to some great resolutions write out some strategies look if you were like me, and let me know if you are, for a long time, I was against goal setting. Can you believe it? Yes, I was so against goal setting. And you know what? Truth be told, because when you set goals, you hold yourself accountable. When you write them down, you may say them in your mind, like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But when you write them down that it's an accountability that I did not want to face. So let me tell you, setting goals is vital to making strides, to get somewhere, to do something. It helps. It helps oh so much. I'm a living witness and a testimony to that. It helps oh so very much. So write down your goals. Push past whatever you might be thinking, whatever you might be feeling concerning that. That's what I had to do, and I did, and I have, and I praise God for that. Now, I'm not the write it down yet. I'm getting there, but I will go over them, and I have an appreciation for them in that I have an understanding that they are good for you. So, my husband, my spouse, my partner, my love, yes. He's, we write them down, we go over them, and I'm with them. We're, we're in it, we're in this thing together, and we have strategies, and we have goals that we're reaching, and we work toward them every single day. So, if that is you, write them down. Write them down. You have a partner, you have a spouse, someone you're working with, uh, write them down. Write your goals down, and see to it that you are taking steps to meet your goals it's, it might be small steps it may be great steps but start somewhere and keep moving don't stop keep going no matter how hard it seems like it's getting the obstacles might be getting in your way doors might be closing you know what if you are a praying person and if that is your place, I encourage you, I extend to you, which is already open for you, to pray about those situations so that you will have discernment concerning doors that you might not even want to go through, that might not even be destined for you, right? Because they will show up. People will show up. People will come. Somebody will say something or pass your name as a referral or whatever and... Who knows? That may not be for you. It may be for you. And change, you have to take chances. You have to step out on faith. Pray about the things. Step out on faith in doing those things. But goal setting is an awesome thing to do. And it keeps you focused. It keeps you um, laser tag focused on whatever it is that you're striving to do. And it gives you an organized stepping system, right? When you write it down. Because you can think about it and it can be swirling in your head to do X, Y, Z and all these millions of things. But writing it down will definitely um, scale it down for you and give you some order, right? So follow the order that you have. And then sometimes you got to retweak. You might have to go back over those things and reorder them. And that's fine. Reevaluate. Self-evaluation. That's all about... Um, self-care and and uh how we see ourselves and what we give out right we want to give out good vibes and we want to stay positive and empowered empowered and inspired that's the way that we want to stay that is the positive vibe that we want to have for ourselves and for our families and giving 
to one another and sharing. We want to do these things in order for us to, for that be an outward effect and impact, right? That helps us to uh, better have control over our emotions, over the things that we say and how we feel. How much do you value someone else's um, input and impactness into your life, right? Let's work on that not being so much, so hard, so much so that it steers us into behaving and thinking differently out of control and out of our own selves, saying things that we really typically wouldn't say you like with some common things that that are say that's not my demeanor or you taking me outside of you know who I am my personality don't allow it don't let it don't let those things take you outside of the person that you are or that you're striving to be in all things I pray that look in all things prayer and supplication unto God that it may be well that he may give you resolution to those things that he may give you grace and dignity in those things following through with the steps that you set forth in your planning and in your goal setting I look have you stopped by my my uh my youtube you have stopped by my youtube channel because you're here right now but when you stop by take a look at my surrender to love devotions they are all so packed with empowerment and inspiration even if that's not how you gel or how you go take a look at it because there are chunks in there to give you life um life preservation of your heart of your mind and of your soul of everything and all of these things work together for our good we need them for our mind body and soul to be elevated to be empowered and inspired because so many things are going on right now clouding our minds and vying for our attention and you know what that's just how it is and we have to stay focused though stay focused on what it is that's important to you could be your business could be your family your god your your health your physical health your mental health and well-being all of those things play a part in who we are and what like the sum of who we are right the very fiber of who we are so i wish you the best these are just some quick tips today that you can um take and so with you respond comment to me tell me what it is that you do to relax what is it that you do to calm down there may be breathing methods that you've tried and that work for you so everything doesn't work for everybody so these are just suggestions and i love it keep sending them in these are my suggestions you know, take some deep breaths, write things down. I've gone over them in a few of, of the videos that I have uploaded. Take some time to review them. Let me know what you think. Let me know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If you need assistance in goal setting, um, I've worked with people, my previous and prior clients. Those are some big things that we had to face and get through in order to move on to other things in order to move on to other things so applying structure is so helpful to your life and it's so helpful to um making things not so scattered in your mind bringing them to order and to a place where you can accept some things and you find that okay i need to get rid of these things these one or two maybe five things right here i'm going to get rid of that they could be habits they could be people they could be things that kind of bring you down in your mood yep we need to change some of those things so writing things down goal setting is paramount and will work great for you if you've tried it keep and it works for you keep on doing it if you haven't i encourage you to give it a chance give it a try i was there i was one of those people who wasn't into goal setting and stuff because i didn't want to be held accountable I, it was out of fear it was out of you know what i might not follow through what if i don't i'm gonna feel so bad and this is what i was thinking so that may be you if that is you look there is difference there is life after that and there is um there is what success in making it through that right that's what i want to be transparent about and show you that there is success after that so these are your tidbits for the day happy friday one and all i want to see you again i want to hear your comments thank you so much for stopping in thank you so much for coming back and we will work together again you see my bananas right there smoothies so stay up on your bananas stay up on your smoothies take care and god bless have a great one y'all